there was this giant section of Milo. Uh, we actually pulled up on it one day, and Brent, the outfitter, looked out. He said, see that different color way out there in that field? We said, yeah. And he said, that's all cranes. And I mean, just a rough estimate. We easily figured 50,000, probably more. We got a bunch of birds roosted just north of us. 6,100 acres of Milo. The whole roost is piling in here. It should be great. There's four or five satellite beats in here yesterday. It should be a, a really good shoot. Twelve o'clock, straight out. Single. Kill him! comes to the sand hill cranes there's not a whole lot of calling that goes into it so they're going to do their thing and they don't they don't really want the call they they want the they want to see the decoys Do the three if you can. One's on the left. shooting at wings because they're so big, but really try to pick out that head and that neck and try to put my bead there to shoot these things because they are so big that, that you can cripple a lot of them if you're not careful. But other than that, if they're working right, they're floating in, you can't ask for a better, prettier shot than, than on these huge cranes. Kill them. Yes, you sir. see any cranes around here? Man, I don't know, but if you guys find any, I'd love for you guys to let me know. I, I think I just found some. You know, I didn't really know anything about cranes coming into this hunt. Uh, watched a few videos, seen a few over the years, but never been 
in a blind underneath any cranes really, let alone that many of them. You know, so you really don't know what to expect coming in. We meet Brent at the gas station that first morning, and within five minutes of just asking a few questions, I learned a ton about Sandhill Crane, their history, their behavior. You know, they're two and a half million years old. They don't get that red on their beak until they're four or five years old. Brent is a wealth of knowledge on Sandhill Cranes. You know, there's a lot of guys that are completely ate up the snow geese. Brent is completely ate up the Sandhill Crane. He knows how to get them where he needs them to be for the cameras and for the clients. Unlike ducks or geese, they they don't have a they don't have a twice a day feed pattern. So our cranes will pile off in the morning, and uh, they'll hit a feed source first thing in the morning, depending on how available the food is and what they're feeding on in the weather, kind of determines how long they'll feed in that in, in that field or whatever that food source might be. And then they'll kind of go into loaf mode. Sometimes they'll sometimes they'll get on high knolls for vantage points where they feel safe and they'll crit up. Or uh, sometimes they'll they'll loaf around in these fresh tilled fields. And they'll eat little pieces of roots and just kind of hang out and be green. And uh, so unlike the geese, where the geese will come out and feed and then go back and come back out in the evening, giving you an opportunity to get in in the middle of the day. Once those cranes fly off, they're they're going to spend most of their day out and about. And uh, sometimes they'll all get in the sky and they'll float thermals and they'll just spin for hours. And it's almost like loafing to them. They get to get up there and just kind of sail around and they'll ride those thermals up and down with those big wings and they literally can almost just, just float around and hover. So you can't have a crane episode without cooking crane. And you know, if you're a waterfowl hunter, you always hear it's ribeye of the sky. And I'm here to tell you that it might not be ribeye of the sky because there's not the marbling, there's not the fat of a ribeye, but I would rank it as filet of the sky. Because a piece of beef filet, you know, it doesn't have that fat. It's just pure, delicious meat. And that's what a crane filet is. Just simply dredge it in olive oil, salt, pepper, some kind of seasoning, whatever you want on it. Throw it on the grill just like that, cook it medium rare, and it is delicious. Like I said, Sandhill Crane is legit an incredible piece of meat. Um, if you're looking for a chance to go on your first Sandhill Crane hunt, or even you know your second, third, or your fifth Sandhill Crane hunt, Brent Folks is most definitely the guy I would recommend. Premier Sandhills. We had a heck of a good time and we cannot wait to get back down there again here in a few months.